Hi students. Today we are discussing some important questions using the properties of definite integrals. Let us discuss some important questions using the properties of definite integrals. First question is integral of y by six to y by three. 1 by 1 plus root tan x into dx. Integral 5 by 6 to 5 by 3. 1 by 1 plus root tan x into dx. We know that integral a to b f of x dx is equal to integral a to b f of a plus b minus x into x. Therefore, i is equal to integral of pi by 6 to pi by 3 1 divided by 1 plus root of tan a plus b that is pi by 6 plus y by 3 minus x into dx. That is integral y by 6 to y by 3. 1 divided by y by 6 plus y by 3. y by 6 is 30. y by 3 is 60. 30 plus 60 90. That is 1 plus 4. And 90 that is 5 by 2 minus 6 into dx. Tan 90 minus theta of theta. Integral 5 by 6 to 5 by 3 dx divided by 1 plus root cortex. 1 plus root of cortex. Root cortex is 1 by root tan x. That is equal to pi by 6 to pi by 3. 1 divided by 1 plus 1 by root of tan x into dx. That is root of cortex is 1 by root of tan x. Now cross multiplying we have. That is integral pi by 6 to pi by 3. 1 divided by root tan x plus 1 divided by root tan x into dx. Now this tan x goes to the numerator. Therefore, i is equal to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 root of tan x divided by 1 plus root of tan x in the BS, which is equation number 2. This is equation 1. Now adding these two equations, 1 plus 2, which implies that 2i is equal to integral pi by 6 to pi by 3 same integral, so take one of the integrals. Here it is 1 by 1 plus tan x, 1 plus root tan x. Here, root tan x are divided by 1 plus root of tan x into dx. Here the denominators are same. So take one of the denominators that is pi by 6 to pi by 3. One of the denominators is the LCM. Take the numerator as it is that is 1 plus root of tan x into dx. Now these two terms get cancelled. 
therefore twice equal to integral of 1 dx that is x upper limit is by a the lower limit is by by 6 upper limit minus lower limit that is pi by 3 minus pi by 6 pi by 3 is 60 pi by 6 is 30 60 minus 30 is 30 so we get pi by 6 2y is equal to pi by 6 therefore i is equal to pi by 2 this is the answer isn't it Let's question is a is equal to integral 0 to 1 x dx 1 a square cos square x plus b square sin square x we know that integral 0 to a f of x dx integral 0 a f of a minus x into dx therefore i is equal to integral 0 to pi pi minus x into dx by a square cos square pi minus x plus b square sin square pi minus x cos pi minus x is minus cos x cos square pi minus x is cos x so integral 0 to pi pi minus x dx divided by so it becomes a square cos square x plus b square sin square x isn't it cos pi minus x is minus cos x cos square pi minus x is plus cos square x sin pi minus x is sin x sin square pi minus x is sin square x 0 to pi pi dx divided by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x minus this minus sign integral 0 to pi x dx by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x isn't it now it is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 now adding these two equations 1 plus 2 it implies that 2y is equal to adding these two gets cancelled positive and negative then pi is a constant into integral 0 to pi dx by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x now according to property of the integral we have integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to 2 into integral 0 to a f of x dx if f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x according to the property of the integral we have integral 0 to 2 a f of x dx is equal to
plus b square sin square by minus x cos square by minus x is cos square x sin square by minus x is sin square x so here it becomes 1 by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x which is same as f of x that is f of 2a minus x is equal to f of x isn't it therefore this integral becomes 2 into integral of the 2a by 2 that is a into f of x dx here we are applying two properties of mathematical integrals therefore 2a is equal to pi into 2 into integral 0 to a by 2a becomes a 2a is pi 2a is pi so 2a is pi therefore a is pi by 2 pi by 2 into dx divided by a square cos square x plus b square sin square x a square cos square x plus b square sin square x now dividing the numerator and denominator by a square cos square x so here 2 and 2 get cancelled therefore it is equal to pi into integral 0 to y by 2 dx by a square cos square x by a square cos square x by a square cos square x is 1 plus b square by a square into tan square x cos square x by sin square x by cos square x is tan square x that is pi into integral 0 to pi by 2 into c square x into dx divided by 1 plus if we take on b square by a square outside then here it becomes a square by b square plus tan square x here a square a square now pi by b square into integrals zero to pi by two six square x into dx by a by b the whole square plus tan square x. Now for tan x is equal to t. Six square x into dx of is equal to t. When x is equal to zero, here the variable of variable is x. When x is equal to zero, then t is equal to tan zero zero. And when x is equal to pi by two, t is equal to tan pi by two. Tan pi by two is infinity. Tan a is infinity. Therefore, I becomes pi by b square into integral two limits are zero to infinity. Dt by a by b the whole square plus t square. Integral of dx by a square plus x square 1 by a tan inverse x by a that is pi by b square into 1 by a is a by b tan inverse x by a that is t by a by b here upper limit is infinity lower limit is 0 here 1b gets Cancel. Now pi by a b into tan inverse infinity minus tan 
tan inverse 0 infinity minus tan inverse 0 tan inverse 0 is 0 tan inverse infinity is pi by 2 so the answer is pi square by 2 ab this is the answer pi square by 2 ab next question is integral 228 modulus of x minus y is here x minus y what x minus y is equal to zero therefore we get x is equal to five in between the limits two and eight there is a constant that is five this is two And eight. Another constant which is five. In between two and five, let us check whether the function is positive or negative. In between two and five, we put x is equal to three, three minus five, that is minus two, so it is negative. In between five and eight, let us take a constant six or seven. Let us take six. Six minus five, that is one, which is positive. Therefore, I is equal to integral two to five. Two to five. The function is negative, so minus of x minus five into the x plus. In between five and eight. Integral five to eight. The function is positive, so it becomes x minus five itself. The function is positive, so it is negative. So it can be written as integral minus six minus plus five minus six to two five five minus six into the x plus integral five to eight x minus five into Is it it? Now integral of five is five x minus x square by two upper limit five lower limit two. Here x square by two minus five x upper limit eight lower limit five. Applying the limits we have five five is half twenty five minus five square by two twenty five by two. Minus of ten minus two square four by two is two plus sixty four by two thirty two minus forty. Now five twenty five by two. Now minus two. Is it it? One more question. Pi is equal to twenty five twenty five. So integral minus one to one minus twenty five by two. Sine pi is equal to twenty five by two minus twenty five. Cos pi is equal to four x minus eight. It is pi is equal to cos ten based on the property of the sum of twenty five minus sixteen. That is here. Then cos pi is equal to root. Sine pi is equal to five x into cos pi is equal to four x. Now x is equal to minus x. The proof minus x. Here sine is to five of minus x in the cos is to four minus x. Sine is to five minus x is sine minus x. Sine minus x is minus sine x. The power is to five. Cos minus x is cos x. The power is to four. So we get minus of sine raised to five x into cos raised to four x. So there is minus of the four x. The four x is sine raised to five x minus cos raised to five. In the function the four x, if we put x is equal to minus x, and uh, if we get minus the four x, then the function is said to be. And all function.
function is said to be an O function and uh, we have one result integral minus C A to plus C A f of x into dx is equal to 0 if f of x is odd and 2 into integral 0 ta f of x if f of x is even. How we can find whether a function is even or odd? In the given function, if we put x is equal to minus x and if f of minus x is equal to f of x, then the function is said to be an even function. If f of minus x is minus of f of x, then the function is said to be an odd function. If the function is odd, then integral minus a plus a f of x dx is 0, then its result becomes 0. And uh, if the function is e1, then integral minus a plus c f of x is 2 into integral 0 t f of x dx. Here the function is of is of hence its integral value is 0, therefore is equal to 0. If the function is odd, then the integral of the function is 0. The function is e1. Then we have to find integral 2 into integral 0 of the f of x. Isn't it?